When Paloma Faith performed live in Leeds last week, she entertained a happy crowd. But are concert goers buying tickets from resale sites always clear on the cost? Mark says he spotted his for £65 each. He bought two and says only after he'd entered his card details and paid did the total price for the pair with fees appear. £253. When they arrived in the post, the original face value was £46 each looked at the face value of the ticket I, I was I was shocked I really was because again I expected to pay maybe a little bit I wasn't even sure that at the time but I was on a, a secondary um, ticketing website from today new advertising rules say the total price including all fees and delivery must be listed from the very start on ticket resale websites the price that we see for tickets on these sites uh, when we first decide on which tickets we want to buy should be the price that we pay at the end. It's incredibly frustrating when we get to the end of the customer journey and booking fees and VAT um, are added on. The rules have changed but beware, some websites are playing catch up. We bought a Rolling Stones ticket listed at £160 today, only to be told after payment that in fact we'd been charged £224. We can see where regulations are not being upheld to. We just need to, have, we need to see them enforced, and I think if they're enforced, it'll make this market a lot more transparent. Your love, your love was for Some artists, like Ed Sheeran, want even tougher rules. You'll need your ticket, proof of payment and ID at his gigs this summer, and resales will only be valid through his official partner website. Peter Lane, 5 News.